Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's create a visual to show top 5 gainers versus top 5 losers of the day. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. Here I have the yesterday's records for 50 stocks from Nifty 50 Index traded in National Stock Exchange of India. It shows open, high, change and percent change for all those 50 stocks on Friday 18th, 2022. This is not straightforward to create in Power BI. I will tell you all the workaround to create this visual. We are using this historical data. Just for this demonstration purpose to create this visual, you can apply this technique on any such data you have. All right. I am into a new Power BI file. And first of all, I will create a small table named Gainers and Losers. This custom table will have two rows, top gainers and top losers. I also need to add the order column to sort the items in a proper order. I have already imported the stock market data which you can see here. As said, sort the category column by order column. In this blank matrix visual, let's drag the category column as the first row header. Under this, I will add the stock symbols column from my data table. At this point, if you will click to expand, it will show error as there are no relationships between these columns. Let's add the last trading price measure in this visual. Since I don't want to show number on these header or grand total, I will use is in scope function to show numbers only if symbols are available in the context. I will also add two other measures to show change and percentage change same way. This solution will not only show the top five and bottom five in the same visual, but to calculate top five gainers, it will only consider positive movers and same way for losers as well. This will go through two amazing workarounds which will blow your mind. As said, currently this LTP is showing same for top gainers and top losers both the category. Let me create other two measures with the same technique. This is the change in price measure. These are already available in my data. But I can't directly drag the columns for this particular solution. For the percent change, which is again available in decimal format, I can divide by 100 in format with percent to show in percentage format. If you are thinking that a top 5 or bottom 5 filter or straightforward rank X function will solve this problem, then don't skip the video and watch until the end, and you will get to know how useful the solution is going to be. Now I have created this visual, which is just showing last traded price, price change and percent change. They are same for both the categories. Let me create here a ranking measure which will rank these 50 stocks for top gainers and top losers. For gainers, it will rank based on descending order of the price change, but for the losers, it will rank based on the ascending order of the price change. As that you can see, I am again using the is in scope function, and then I will validate a selected value of the category as top gainers. Then, using rank x function, I can easily create the ranking with descending order, and same way for top losers. After this measure, I will create an another very important measure, which is the core measure to create this functionality to show both in the same visuals. All right. For now, I have added this ranking measure in my matrix visual, and you can see for top gainers category, it is ranking from top to bottom, but for top losers, it is ranking from bottom to top. Here comes the most important part of the solution, which is to create another measure to filter this visual. Since top gainers should only come from the positive movers, and top losers should come from list of all negative movers. I am creating two table variables for the same. This is very important. Otherwise, let's say you have only negative movement for all the stocks. You should not show top gainers from that list. It should only show top five losers. Same logic will apply in case of all positive move. And you will only see top five losers. In my return expression, I will validate two conditions. One is if the rank is less or equal to five or not, and another is symbols are the list of gainers table or not for top gainers. And similar logic is for top losers, where only change is to validate with the losers table variable. Since rank measure already assigned ranking based on descending and ascending order for top losers and gainers, for both conditions, we will mention rank is less than or equal to five. Overall output is wrapped inside in function so that I can use this as a visual level filter on my matrix visual to show only if value is one. As that you can see, this visual is now showing the required top five gainers and top five losers. Where gainers are sorted from top to bottom on positive price change, 
and losers are sorted by bot to top from negative price change list. Rank column can be hidden with the help of a transparent color code, and positive change can be shown with a plus sign by replacing the current measure with this one. Because in this kind of analysis, a positive move should show with a plus sign, if required, you can also add other formatting to show icons along with the percentage price change. Here, I have replaced the old percentage change with this new one which also shows plus sign, and I can add icons from the given list, or you can also use other emojis if you want. For that, you need to modify UDAX measure and add the emojis in the measure itself. You can use the percent change measure for this. And also, you need to format the font color of the ranking measure with the help of rank format, which is just a hex code for transparent color. Apply this for values in total, and you will no longer see the ranking. The column header of the rank can be hidden by using the white color applied only for the header from specific column formatting option. And with little bit of more formatting, this solution will be completely ready to use. Format this visual aligned with other visuals on the report page. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, and post your questions, feedbacks, and suggestions in comment box.